Houston Tri Units, 244. This guy on the platform, 3201 Southwest 1st Avenue. Starts to jump off the platform is the black man wearing a red Chicago Bulls jacket, navy blue jeans. He mentioned he was armed with a knife at 1433. Hey, my name is Sergio Vietas, and I'm assigned to the police operations section. So we ended up getting the call as a, a black male armed with a knife at the Vizcaya station. So my partner Mario and myself, we got on the southbound tracks, we located the, the male, and we saw that he had a knife and he was attempting to jump off the tracks. My name is Officer Mario Martinez, Miami-Dade Police Department, assigned to POS, Police Operations Services, for the past 10 years. Every call is different when I get there, I said, well, okay, uh, this is it. The guy is on the tracks. So uh, we're going to have to use a lot of talking. We were on the train tracks talking to him as he was standing over the ledge for approximately four hours. See, he called you yesterday. We okay. want to help you. See, we want to help you. You have to let us help you. In kind of, this kind of situation, we all go back to training. This is it. Oh, he made it seem like several times he was going to jump. At one point, he had the he had the knife that he had in his hand. He had it against his throat. Fortunately, I have very good officers that work with me, like my partner, like Sergeant Quesada, and all the officers who were around me. I felt a lot of support from them. Uh, using a weapon it was not necessary, and the only weapon that we had at that moment was this. Talking. My name is Manuel Casada. I'm an afternoon sergeant assigned to the police operations section. Well, once I was uh, uh, came up close enough to here, I had two of my officers um, that were CIT trained engage with him in active negotiation, positive active negotiation. Yeah, those are my guys. Those guys are not here to hurt you. Those guys are not here to hurt you. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm, you said you needed help. I'm going to get you the help you need. So at that point. Uh, I looked around and started looking at uh, what are the options to get him safely off the platform. Once I heard um, a few things, he mentioned his daughter, three-year-old daughter. He mentioned his service in the U.S. Navy. Um, you know, I assimilated right away that you know he was a stand-up guy. He was just in you know crisis. You said you needed help. I'm gonna get you help. You said you want to be here. I'm here with you. You wanted food. I'll get you food. You want to talk to your daughter. We'll get your daughter out here. Um, so at that point, I just leveled with him. I leveled with him, I reminded him of his daughter and that uh, you know he was putting a lot of lives at risk to the police officers up there and he, and he agreed. So eventually that, that, that worked to my mind. Sergeant Manny Quesada did an amazing job. He, he, had, he had built better rapport with him. Their time. They spoke about the military. He was able to reason with him to get him to walk back towards Vizcaya Station. I made a phone call you know, to my officers. Uh, we made a game plan as to what platforms we were going to go to, right? Uh, they ended up taking the Vizcaya closer to him and we took Brickle where he didn't, he couldn't break the perimeter and do harm to someone. So at that point, we, you know, we gave him his space, we let him decompress and we started negotiations, you know, softly. We got to the point that my Sergeant Quesada, uh, he was talking to him. I told my partner, hey, be ready because he's gonna give us a chance. He's gonna give us a chance and we gotta take it. I made my move, my partner made his move and we got him. We all worked really well. City of Miami was there as well. There was an officer with my partner Mario and myself there. He spoke to him as well. So they had built a rapport. Oh, it was excellent. We all worked very well together. You know, I feel that the two officers that were involved uh, that were working for me that day are working with me. Um, they went above and beyond, you know, they, they went on a 40-foot platform, you know, uh, in rain and heat. They were able to de-escalate this situation for, in order for me to step in. So, uh, you know, these officers are faced with a myriad of calls where, you know, mental duress all the way up into taking somebody into custody. So I applaud them for their efforts. Uh, to that point, we actually saw him a few days later. He thanked us at nauseum, and I think one of my officers actually bought him lunch. I actually ran to him a week ago and he he actually told me hey i've been looking all over for you um he told me thank you several times so it felt it felt good we had a call that like a i'm gonna say a week or two weeks uh, after that call 
And he looked at me and, hmm, huh, I know this guy. And I know you do. Yeah, that was me. That was me, and I'm gonna be here as many times as you need me. It's okay, do us a favor. Let me, let me help you out. Come on. Well, I'll I'll let me help you out. Thank you, guys. 